Remember, we define average velocity as the total distance traveled divided by the total time. So once we know that the area under the graph gives the total distance traveled, we can also find the total time on the time axis. We find that ratio and that gives us average velocity. Let's look at a simple graph of this nature. Velocity time graph. If you study the diagram on your screen, you see clearly such a body has an initial velocity u. So we said u here is our initial velocity. And v is the final velocity. So how do we describe such a graph? We say a particle with an initial velocity in meter per second accelerates uniformly to a final velocity v meter per second in a time of t seconds. Simple. A body with an initial velocity of u in meter per second accelerates uniformly to a final velocity of v meter per second within a time of t seconds. Out of this, we can find the acceleration. Acceleration is equal to v minus u on t. And again, this is the slope from the graph. That's the slope from the graph. If you look at A from the diagram, it represents a figure. B also represents a figure. So that is the area under the graph. The area under the graph is A plus B. So if you know the figure there, then we find the area of the figure. And you can see A there equals half base times height. And B is also equal to length times breadth. 